Now also, we have new details on Monday's deadly standoff in Midwest City involving a Dallas man, a two-year-old, and Midwest City police. Search warrants just released today show the man made some bizarre statements during that standoff and also kept a notebook full of religious writings. News 9 crime tracker Adrian Vashinsky joins us live in the newsroom with our top story. Well, Amanda, this search warrant was just filed this afternoon and details what happened during the hostage situation. It also lays out what police found at the suspect's apartment in Midwest City. This is where Midwest City Police say 37-year-old Sammy Lamont Wallace lived since January 16th of this year. Apartment 3 at the Parkview Apartments, located near Reno and Midwest Boulevard. I really can't believe he lived here. The search warrant states police seized both a three-ring binder and a spiral notebook filled with religious writings inside the apartment. They also seized the suspect's OG&E bill, a bank statement, and took photos of the scene. Court records show Wallace was from the Dallas, Texas area and was a wanted felon. His criminal background shows he had been arrested for assault and battery and robbery with a dangerous weapon, as well as harassment. He'd even served time in prison. Police say on Monday, Wallace entered this Walmart neighborhood market less than a mile away from his apartment and held a two-year-old girl hostage, threatening her life with a knife. Police say during their negotiations, Wallace made mention of a group named the Illuminati. Police claim their research shows the Illuminati is a satanic cult and that they learned June 21st is their day of human sacrifice. But why Wallace chose June 17th to take the girl hostage is still unknown. Police say they were unsuccessful in their attempts to negotiate with Wallace and say they had to use deadly force to save the child's life. The search warrant states Wallace was shot only one time and was pronounced dead at the hospital. I think that they, they did what they had to do. Now, we do know that the child and her mother were not harmed during that terrifying standoff. Police are not releasing their name at this time. Live in the newsroom, Adriana Ivashinsky, News 9. At least not physically harmed. All right, Adriana, Midwest City Police have identified Captain David Huff as the officer who shot and killed Wallace. Huff has been on the force for 22 years. It will be up to the DA to determine if the use of deadly force was justified.